Okay, so this is problem 4.2.87. You can't read it real well there, but I'll um, read it to you. So it says the average discharge at the mouth of the Amazon River is 4,500,000 cubic feet per second. They want to know how much water is discharged from the Amazon River in one hour and in one year. Okay, so first of all, they're giving us this number right here. Um, 4,000, or excuse me, 4,500,000, and this is cubic feet per second. Okay, um, and then they're asking us how much water is discharged, how much in one year, and uh, <clears throat> um, actually it's one hour first. So how much in one hour and then in one year. Okay, this problem really is a units conversion problem. So right now, what we're looking at is we have this number, and it's in feet cubed per second, but we want to know feet cubed per hour, okay? And then, and then eventually we want to know feet cubed per year. So really what we're going to have to do is multiply by some units in order to convert this. The first thing I'm going to do is work with this in scientific notation instead of the form that it's in because this is a pretty big number. And we are supposed to be learning scientific notation in this section. Okay, so if you take your decimal point and you move it, and I'm going to have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then this number is the same thing as 4.5 times 10 to the 6th power. And this is feet cubed per second. Okay, all right, and um, the reason it's a positive six power when you're dealing with large numbers and you're making them and putting them in scientific notation, you're moving this to the left here, you're going to end up with a positive exponent, and we always move the decimal place to between a number between one and ten, or yes, between one and ten. Okay, so if I want to convert this second unit here into hours, then I need to think about how that would go. So I have 4.5 times 10 to the 6. This is feet cubed per second. Okay, so I need to think about how many seconds are in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert it to minutes. So I have 60 seconds in every one minute, and I'm going to use that ratio. Okay, the nice thing about that ratio is this allows my second units to cancel and you can see now if I do that product, then I'm actually going to be looking at feet cubed per minute. Okay, but I don't want per minute. I want per hour. So let's keep going. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, so that right there would give me feet cubed per hour. And so what I'm going to do is take my um, 4 million number and multiply by 60 and then multiply by 60 again times 60 and then times 60 so you get and my calculator is going to give it to me in scientific notation yours most likely will as well so this is going to be 1.62 times 10 to the tenth and I do believe the the program wants the my math lab program wants you to enter it in this format okay so this is how many um, feet cubed per hour so that answers the first question all right, and then to answer the next question, we just continue to do this process of converting um, the units. So I now have 1.62 times 10 to the 10th feet cubed per hour, and I'm going to change hours into days. So I have 24 hours in one day. Okay, so if I do that, the hour units will cancel and that's going to give me when I do that product feet cubed per day but I actually want per year so if I then multiply that by 365 days in one year then my day units will cancel and now I'm looking at feet cubed per year okay so again if you do that on your calculator take that 1.62 times 10 to the 10th, multiply by 24, and then multiply by 365, and you'll get 
1.41912 times 10 to the 14th power. Okay, so it's a little small right there. Okay, so um, so that would be it. This gives us our, our second answer here, which is feet cubed per, per year. And let's see, they asked us to round to the nearest thousandths as needed. Um, so actually this answer we need to round. So tens, hundreds, thousandths, we would round it to 1.419. So we would chop off the one, two. It would just be 1.419 times 10 to the 14th, okay? And that's it for that problem.